What's going on guys, it's Deathmonk here. Today we're going to be talking about a rather interesting potential collaboration that could be happening maybe during the Season 5 or potentially Season 6 timeframe of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So, basically for those who don't know, um, WWE recently did some, um, recently gave out some hints if you will, that um, basically Call of Duty Mobile is potentially collaborating with WWE. So how do we know this? So as you guys can see, uh, there's been a buzz in the gaming community as rumours suggest that WWE superstars might be making an appearance as playable operators, potentially during Season 5. This intriguing idea first hit the eyes from a new promotion along the sides of the ring, followed by a tweet by the detonated Twitter account. These Call of Duty WWE rumours are sparking excitement and speculation among fans of both franchises like myself, like yours truly. So for those who don't know, additionally, recent evidence further fuels the speculation of WWE superstars joining Call of Duty in Season 5. WWE's ring apron advertising showcasing an advertisement for Call of Duty Mobile adds weight to the possibility of this crossover event. So as you guys can see, Call of Duty Mobile is showing on one of the um, ring aprons there. Along the barricade, there's also um, mention of limited uh, potential... I'm not exactly sure what the, film, the full message actually said, but uh, if you downloaded it, you will get like some really interesting um, rewards, if you will. So that's really interesting. While this could be just a simple advertisement of seeing along the ring for WWE or the Octagon in UFC, this could be a carefully placed tease suggesting a serious collaboration in an upcoming season. Though the same crossover for premium and mobile. As a reminder, Snoop Dogg who is actually in the WWE Hall of Fame, believe it or not, was added to both Call of Duty Mobile and Vanguard during the same month of April in 2021. WWE collaborating with Call of Duty could be a similar deal where maybe closer to SummerSlam on August the 3rd, just a week after Season 5 begins, could be when this crossover happens. So more than meets the eye, the fusion of these two exciting worlds promises an accelerating and unique gaming experience for fans of both WWE and Modern Warfare 3. With each WWE star also bringing them iconic finishing moves as potential executions, the potential for this crossover is boiling over. Detonator got tagged in the tweet suggesting that a crossover was happening between WWE and Modern Warfare 3. While this is yet to be confirmed, community members are starting to question the advertisements of COD Mobile and what it could mean for Modern Warfare 3 Season 5. <coughs> so, for those who don't know, uh, WWE Superstars and Call of Duty. So the potential crossover between WWE and Modern Warfare 3 opens up a world of possibilities for a unique and exciting gameplay experience. Imagining WWE Superstars taking on the role of operators in the gritty intense world of Modern Warfare 3 is an exciting prospect that has Fiat fans eagerly waiting for the news and confirmation. Speculations on which WWE Superstars could potentially join the roster of operators in MW3 Season 5 are already winning wild. So, for those who don't know, um, in Fortnite you've got, uh, like, the examples like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who's got, like, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think he's got, like, three skins. So it's a skin that he typically uh, walks around as, if you will. So you've got his Foundation skin that he came a couple of chapters ago now. And there's also the... What else, what other skins has he got? I think he's got one for Black Adam, if I'm not mistaken. And I think he's got a third one. That name escapes me at the moment. So that's really interesting. And he's also got uh, John Cena, believe it or not. He's got his own skin. And as well, I think he's also got his superhero one that he's come in that... Uh, I think it's Bumblebee. I could be wrong on that. But um, he's got various other skins as well. So that's really exciting. Now, um, emotes. I think he's... Uh, the Rock's got the one where he's sitting in a chair, like a stone-type throne. And John Cena's got the You Can't See Me emote. So that's really interesting to take note of in uh, Fortnite world. Now in Rainbow Six Siege, guys, um, basically for those who don't know, uh, there was several skins uh, for WWE as well. So for those who, as you guys are currently seeing on screen, Roman Reigns, uh, who's still at this time, at the time of recording, is the longest, one of the longest reigning uh, WWE World Heavyweight Champions in modern history. And as you guys can see, also Ash, uh, who's got Rhea Ripley's outfit. So they look pretty insane. Let me know which one is your favourite in the comments. So that looks really interesting to talk about there. 
Uh, and also, for those who don't know, um, Undertaker and Becky Lynch also made appearances, of course, in uh, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, in one of the Royal Rumble bundles. So, as you guys can see, um, Blackbeard had his Deadman bundle. So, as you guys can see, you can uh, kind of fully customize. He's got like the um, bowler hat, if you will, or the um, I can't I can't think of the name for that hat. Um, but as you guys can see, he's also got his. Um, Jack, uh, the jacket there, it's got, it's got a rather interesting uh, tombstone uh, epic camo, so that's really interesting. Uh, I think also, um, as you guys can see, Becky Lynch also had her bundle as well. Uh, I think that was for Ash, if I'm not mistaken. So, if it was it Ash, or was it a different skin? I can't remember which skin this was for, but uh, as you guys can see, Becky Lynch also had her bundle as well in the uh, store as well at one point. Also, as you guys can see, Fall Guys also had, in the past, a WWE collaboration featuring Bianca Belair, uh, who is also in Fortnite, by the way, uh, Undertaker, Mankind, and Asuka. So, that looks really interesting. I think and also in the background you've got Rey Mysterio and the late great Macho Man Randy Savage. So, very, very interesting there, guys. Uh, Xavier Woods, I think, um, also made an appearance in that as well. Now, for those who don't know, Xavier Woods... Um, who actually is one of the WWE stars, actually has his own gaming YouTube channel, Up Up Down Down. And I think he did a Call of Duty um, Let's Play on that. So that looks really interesting. Let me know what you guys' reason thoughts are. So which stars should we see potentially come to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3? Now according to Detonated, as you guys can see, uh, John Cena could potentially be a big name that could potentially make his way into this game. Known for his never give up mantra, John Cena could bring his resilience and determination to the battlefields as a formidable operator. Becky Lynch, the man of WWE, known for her first fierce attitude and fighting spirit would make an excellent addition. Roman Reigns, the longest reigning, as I said, undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion. Um, he, he was the champion, he's not anymore, but uh, so that's really interesting there. His commanding presence and strategic prowess will make him a force to be reckoned with as the tribal chief. I'm going to skip over Sasha Banks because she no longer works for the company. She now works for All Elite Wrestling. Rhea Ripley. Uh, if she's not in this collaboration, I'd be surprised. With her unique look and fierce in-ring style, Rhea Ripley would bring a fresh and powerful presence to the world of Modern Warfare 3 as an operator. Cody Rhodes, who is the current champion last time I checked, not for his versatility and charisma, currently the biggest babyface in WWE, the American Nightmare will be a dynamic addition to the roster, offering a mix of skill and showmanship on the battle feet. Now, I was thinking, um, <clears throat> another addition I would put on this list is Randy Orton. Now, the 14-time World Heavyweight Champion, um, he's got all sorts of uh, rather interesting... Um, I'll just love his... Um, not, I think physique would be a good start, but his in-ring uh, performances is really out, out as well. I, I grew up watching him as a kid, so he's really he's a really good uh, operator. I feel. Also, the recent um, I say recent, but also is in the past he made all sorts of vines and memes with his RKO out of nowhere. So I would love to see that as a potential finishing move at some point in the future. But let me know what you guys' reasons and thoughts are. Let me know in the comments box down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.